up guys and welcome back to another episode unfortunately this episode is not clickbait in fact this time of year almost anybody can get caught in this situation so since I got caught in the storm guys I'm gonna be sharing with you guys step by step of what happened and actually the things that I did but more importantly you're gonna want to stay tuned in to the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you guys probably the most single most important thing to remember while going through a storm the day started like any normal summer fishing day in Florida it was 80 degrees outside there was scattered thunderstorms scattered showers and I was with my buddy Donnie and Eddie we were heading offshore for some offshore fishing I mean it was a little choppy out it was doable in the bay boat and I'm gonna show you guys some clips of that right now We were only about five miles away from our spot that we planned to fish at. I mean, we were about 35 miles offshore. And honestly, in a moment's notice, from scattered, isolated storms to a wall of storms, 365 degrees around us. I mean, I didn't tell the boys this, but honestly, in that moment, I actually, I silently prayed to myself. But then, I quickly began the process of taking the necessary steps to get us home. First, I started heading east, true to my compass. And then I set both of my GPSs to the two inlets closest to bringing us home. And then I immediately began observing the storms around us to determine what inlet I was going to head into. You know, I'm sure there's a number of things that I could have done differently. I'm sure there's things that I could have done better. I'm sure there's things that I forgot to do. But I'm going to show you guys some of these clips of us going through this storm. And then I'm going to share with you guys, in my opinion, the single most important thing to remember while you're going through a storm.
actually now at Anna Marie Island. Down that way is Bean Point Inlet, and down that way is Longboat Inlet. Bean Point Inlet is actually the inlet we're coming into right now. so cool around here guys. I love it how they protect the wildlife. You know, like I said guys, there's, there's probably hundreds of things that I could have did differently on this trip. The fact of the matter is, is no matter how many safety precautions you take, um, checking the weather, um, double checking the weather. I mean, I have seven apps on my phone for weather to determine whether I'm going offshore or not. I'm very cautious uh, when I do it, and uh, I would never put anybody uh, in jeopardy um, of getting hurt just to go fishing. It's just not. Um, it's just not in me. Pulling into this inlet, um, you see some excitement from me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll that clip really quick, just so you guys can kind of see the joy on my face when I see, when I see land. So at this point, you're probably, uh, <laughs> you're probably wondering what, uh, when am I gonna say the most single most important thing, in my opinion, you know, and. I want to share with this with you guys because this is something that is super important to me and maybe it's important to you, I'm not sure. But, you know, there's a ton of things that you could do to prepare to not get in storms. But at the end of the day, storms are unpredictable and they can change at any given moment just like they did today, just like they did in this episode. Obviously, you know, we looked at the weather. Um, we determined to go offshore collectively. I never make it a single decision, a single person's decision. But ultimately, guys, no matter how big the storm you're facing or the, how big the storm that you're in, it may be a literal storm like we were just in, or it just might be a storm in life. I just want to share this with you guys because this is set peace for me in many times and I live a faith-based life. You know, I don't always have to see to believe. And I want you guys to know that no matter how many things, I, I was going through the things that I did on the way in and I know a lot of the things I did were based upon experience and me going through storms in the past in the ocean. But at the end of the day, guys, God is in control and God was in control of that situation and I think that that is the most single most important thing that I could share in this video is that no matter how many ways you prepare to get yourself back in from a storm or out of a storm in life if you know that God is in control and uh, and he's gonna take care of you all the rest doesn't matter guys I mean there's, there's a lot of things in life that people have challenges with. Um, look, I'm not being insensitive to the fact that some people on here may not be a believer, but I wanna share this with you guys because I know how much of an impact this made on my life. And when I got back in and when I was processing all the things that I did to get us out of this storm, you know, I was just constantly reminded that I didn't really do much at all. I mean, God was all over it. He watched over us. He got us back in. And I'm just so grateful that we're back in. And look at this. Just as I'm saying this, the sun is coming out. The water is changing colors into a, a beautiful green. I just, guys, hey, I love you guys. And that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. This is a very unusual video that I'm doing right now. I hardly ever do videos like this. It's always based upon informative videos about fishing. But if you guys like this video, um, if you guys like fishing or boating or both, please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you next time.